That is definitely one of the most interesting things I've ever seen. She got this at an estate sale, paid, is this the right one? Yeah, paid 35 and listed it for 200, took a best offer of 145 for that. Three, two, one. Hey, Boa Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in this video, I am going to share with you a big money bolo finder. But more importantly, this woman's store is incredible. I have featured her before, but it's been a while. And every time I look at her eBay store, I am just in awe of the things that she finds. It's just incredible. So let's get started. And I am going to link her down below. You definitely want to go and check out her store because it it's unbelievable. That's all I can say is you don't find those things, these types of things in my neighborhood. <laughs> It's just unreal. All right, here we go. It is Horse and Hair Curiosity Shop. And let me just show you some of the incredible items she has. I mean, they're all just so like different and unique and seem like they would be so hard to find. Just incredible. So I'm on page one you guys go check out the link down below to see all of the other amazing items she has. But I'm going to share with you what sold. I'm going to tell you where she got it, what she paid for it, and what it sold for. So let's see where she's finding these incredible items. The first one says, oh, you know what? I think I am. Here we go. Had my papers backwards. First one, the spider web. Dicoric fused plate Halloween black and orange bought at the Goodwill. The Goodwill. Does your Goodwill have stuff like this? For $4. Check it out. And listed for $64. Got full asking price and the buyer paid shipping. And this is what the back looks like. So I don't know that it's even vintage it's just really uh different and unique and very cool so here is her screenshot pay attention also to her main photo she has a unique way of drawing your attention to her photos so this one is vintage judy bomberger lady in tub cat wine glass metal fork art so i'm not sure what metal fork art is but it says um, do, do, do. found at an estate sale and bought for $8.50. I listed it for $125 and accepted an offer of $99.99. This is a vintage Beswick Bull Terrier Dog Porcelain Figurine. So it is a Bull Terrier. This one here she got at an estate sale for $12, listed for $84 and got her full asking price and the buyer paid shipping. So it is um, a porcelain figurine. Anytime you can find things that look like people's animals, people will pay up for them. They just do. People want things that look like their animals. Look at all those plush, those big money plush. Cutco. If you don't know what Cutco is, get to know it. Uh, silverware, knives especially, do super well. Did you know you can sell the knife block? It is a bolo as well. She got this at... Let's see. It does not say where she got it. But she listed it for 62 and got her asking price and the buyer paid shipping. I don't know where what she paid for it or where she got it. I apologize. I don't see that one. But that's okay. It's still a bolo. Mid-century modern ceramic trinket cigarette Alvino Bag Bagni Londi, Italy. This is a trinket, ceramic trinket. She got it in an estate sale for $10, listed for $105, and took a best offer of $75 plus shipping. And let's take a peek at some other uh, pictures here. I wanted to see what the bottom looked like. I don't know if there is a picture. There it is. There it is. Now, check this out, you guys. How incredible is this? Do you want to know where this came from? 
It is a Halloween curiosity box, one of a kind, witch, bat, ghost, spider, cat, devil, mummy, skull, 2022. You guys, she made these out of paper mache. Are you kidding me? She's an artist. She is an artist. She said, made pieces myself out of paper mache listed at 195 and took a best offer of 175 and the buyer paid shipping. So I'm not sure if she has more custom items in her store, but definitely check it out because I mean, look at the artwork on these. They are incredible. These are vintage Zalo suede cowboy design boots in made in Spain it looks like bought it in a state sale for 20 listed for 185 and took a best offer of 175 plus shipping look <laughs> how fun are those woo wee those are bright and colorful and really given the fabric they look really really good the next item is this chicken lip David H Everett Halloween skeleton man carrying a pumpkin pail Check him out. Let's see if we can find a signature. Don't know. Hmm. I don't see a signature. I wonder where the signature is. I always like to see the artist's signature so I know where to look, but I am not seeing anything on this one. And I have, I think, looked at every photo. Maybe they're not signed. Maybe she used Google Lens. She got this at an estate sale for $20, listed for $185, took an offer of $175. She said she bought two others and the, the same customer bought all of them. So probably just somebody that collects uh, this David H. Everett, maybe. Could be. Vintage Halloween is definitely a bolo or even just retired Halloween. Vintage Mexican folk art pottery, tree of life, candle brella, uh, candle abra, candle abra, candle holder, cat and bird. This is Mexican folk art pottery. And she got this at the Goodwill for $5. One of the candle holders was cracked, so repaired it and still got 115. Buyer paid shipping and it sold in two hours after listing, probably sold it too cheaply. Happy with profit, buyer paid shipping. This is an antique Raven Crow chalkware carnival prize Halloween decoration. Bought from a friend for 10 and got full asking price of 85, buyer paid shipping. This is a uh, Paradisami, Paradisami, Lynn Porcelain Asian Girl doll, Linda Mason, 29 inch tall. So, we're just seeing the face here, but it's actually a full size doll. But see how she grabs your attention with that first photo? It's pretty clever, right? Found her in an original box for $20, listed for $85, and accepted an offer of $76, and the buyer paid shipping. The next item are these Nailer Designs Abstract Designed six, uh, Set of Six Cups. And let's... Nope, no bottom picture. Uh, Goodwill, enlisted for 62, got full asking price, buyer paid shipping. This is a vintage animated Telco Motion at Christmas elf, elf, Santa's Helper. And she does have a video attached. And here it is. And it looks like it's in good working order. She got for $4.50, $4.50 is what she paid for it. And I don't see where she got it. She got full asking price of 48 and pickup was local. So no shipping involved. So uh, buyer picked it up. The next item is this vintage hand-stitched Cruel Queen's Anne's lace floral frame picture. This one came from the Goodwill for $6.50 listed for 96 and the buyer paid shipping. And she said it was a very fast sale. So if you don't know the framed art, any needlework and stuff like this, it can be a bolo for sure. A lot of times these get passed by. This is a vintage California pottery Metlock server lobster casserole. 
California 615. And it looks like it's a dish. <laughs> oh, goodness me. Here it is right there. And this one, estate sale, $8.50, listed for $65 and accepted a best offer of $55 and the buyer paid shipping. And that looks like a little scary to ship. And this looks scary to ship also. Jurassic Yellow Brontosaurus Dinosaur Ceramic Patio Garden Flower Planter. This one came from the Goodwill. She paid $5.50 for it, listed it for $65 and accepted a best offer of $55. And the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this rare vintage Dancing Bears metal taper candlestick holder. And this came from the Goodwill, $4.50, listed for $65, and accepted a best offer of $55 with the buyer paying shipping. This is a Met Maitland Smith Dragonfly figure brass and mother of pearl. And this one... She got for $6.50 at the Goodwill, $6.50, and listed it for $1.65, accepted a best offer of $130 plus shipping. This is a vintage Stife Martha Stewart limited edition turkey with certificate. So Martha Stewart and Stife with the certificate. Wowie wow. Uh, she got this. Let's see. It does not say. Listed at $185 and accepted an offer of $162.50. This is a Chicken Lips David H. Everett Halloween Black Cat Pale Wire Hanger. And this one, she paid $35 and sold it for $178 and the buyer paid shipping. Vintage Franz Collection Dolphin Splash Swimming Vase 6-inch Mint Condition. And she got this at a thrift store for $45 and listed for $185 and got full price and the buyer paid shipping. So she did pay up a little for that one. Build-A-Bear Meat Lug How to Train Your Dragon Plush. It's a stuffed animal, guys. Found at Savers and bought for six, listed for $155 and accepted an offer of $145 and the buyer paid shipping. This is a Willie Ray Studio Halloween Happy Halloween. That's hard to say. Witch. And you can see here on the front. Here, let me just shoot through these. Check her out. Oh, no. I want you guys to see the owl. Where's the owl? There it is. It's an owl. Got it at the Goodwill for $22. Listed and sold for full asking of $185. And the buyer paid shipping. This is a Bethany Lowe Halloween Calendar Skeleton Theater of Haunted Spirits. This one came from, does not say, does not say what she paid for it, but she listed it for $195 and that's what it sold for and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is very unique. <laughs> Greenwood Loveless Denise Loveless Handcrafted Pottery Art Boy Dogs. That is definitely one of the most interesting things I've ever seen. She got this at an estate sale, paid, is this the right one? Yeah, paid $35 and listed it for $200, took a best offer of $145 for that. The next item is this Lennox Dr. Seuss Grinch's Wonderful Idea Ceramic Music Box. Are you ready for this? She did pay $75 for this at the Goodwill, but she sold it for $410 and the buyer paid shipping. So... Go over to her store. Let's do another page. Down below, I'll link her. You guys give her a follow by clicking on the heart saved sellers and look at all of her interesting items. She has over a thousand items listed. It's just incredible. So give her a follow Thank you guys all so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And if you haven't heard, I do have Bolo Buddies merch available. It's over on my whatnot. They're $5 each and the buyer pays shipping. I have Halloween, the little spider web. And then I have Thanksgiving. And then I have the ones I have in, which are just the standard. And if you turn it upside down, 
you can see the eyeballs are my logo. So um, I sent her over the logo that um, Real Creative Studios made. She made this owl for me and sent it to me. So I sent that to Lucky Day Shop and then she customized the earrings to add in the little, to make them Thanksgiving and Halloween. So these are super fun. Definitely follow Lucky Day Shop over on Whatnot. And again, Real Creative Studios made my owl, which I just absolutely adore it. I think it's just incredible that she did that with the eyes. I love it. So anyway, if you guys want some earrings, there is a link down below. You can get $15 to shop on Whatnot if you use my link to join Whatnot. So you can go over and use that towards some earrings if you want some Bolo Buddies merch. Five bucks plus shipping for those. Thank you guys again. Um, let me know in the comments what you think about this store. Is it incredible or what? All right, you guys, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And did I ever say that? Thanks for watching.